to say Desperate calls us anyway Do this mean we'll go to war? I don't know what I'm looking for But I'd like to know that soon And this time a yellow full moon Everything that is to know Fireworks and even the smallest show Sometimes you want to raise your walls to a high point But you don't have to tell me anymore But I'd like to know that soon And it's time of yellow full moon So come on Good morning everybody so today brings me down to Derwent Water which is just kind of on the outskirts of Keswick there and I'm at the northern tip I'm in a place called Crow Park now Crow Park is one of those really really popular locations uh, it really lends itself well to you know tourists and also uh, photographers as well so you will find that it's quite a, a popular location and you know it's uh, really really good you've got uh, plenty of foreground interest here and, and you've got some really lovely scenery which is really pleasing on the eye um, so just behind me you've got the um, one of the islands of Derwent Water you've also got cat bells just behind it and it's a, a really really lovely location and just in a, a short space of time oh sorry not short space of time but a short space of, uh, of distance you've got several bits of foreground interest so you've got this fence here that I'm photographing there. Um, that's use that as a nice little bit of a leading line. And then just here you've got some really nice stones or boulders in the water. That really lends itself well to a bit of good foreground interest. And if you come over here where you've got hardly any foreground interest, albeit a few smaller boulders so a bit more of a less of a distraction you can zoom right into the island and pick out the more details in that island and then you've got cat bells there in the background now I've been really lucky this morning um, you know checked the weather forecast last night and you know knew it's going to be a fairly decent sunrise but I've come here and we've got a, a nice bit of mist here and that that really really kind of lends itself and you get some really lovely images really nice and atmospheric and it just makes that extra element and now i'm starting to get a little bit of sun coming up over the onto the fells now um, just really wanting to capture a little bit on cat bells that will be that will be absolutely perfect so i'm um, just kind of waiting for that so in a minute got a time lapse all set up um, so i've got that focus on the boulders so there's a little bit of foreground interest and that's just capturing that mist as it goes across the across the, the lake and then also hopefully we should capture that sunlight coming on those fells just there too so that's looking really really good this morning and then uh, just over here and um, oh normal settings on that so um, f8 ISO 200 on that and uh, auto shutter speed and uh, manual focus and minus one exposure compensation and then here I'm just using the I'm changing my composition around and just really playing with the composition just while this light changes and yeah just using the the fence as a little bit of a leading line and I've got some cheeky little ducks in the, in the foreground here which are uh, um, definitely uh, getting in my shot but um, you know it's all good so yeah uh, and that mist is gorgeous
yeah what a superb morning great little location you're literally about a two or three minute walk from the car park so you haven't got to go hiking up any fells or anything so yeah it is just generally a really really good location now i'm just looking at that uh that sun coming up on those fells now so i think i need to um crack on and uh, take some more images It's over, baby. Someday we'll find a way out. When all our strings are broken, you'll see that we could do without. When all our dreams are over, when all our hopes are dead. With this town turning colder, with all our colors bleeding red, I'll be wrinkled when the storms are hit. I sing you any song you wanna hear. I think we've had a superb morning this morning um, especially with the conditions that we've had you know it was um, kind of got really lucky with that so and uh, you know it's all very well that you could think oh actually you know we'll, we'll go up onto the fells and, and view it from the fells which you know it was okay but it's not I think it was definitely more appreciated um, you know from from lake level you know because I don't think you'd have uh, captured the uh, the drama as much up in the fells than you would um, at, lake, at lake level. So, but yeah, really, really lovely morning. Um, I think one thing if I'd have done different, um, I should have bought my 70 to 200 lens out and managed to zoom in and pick out little bits of detail. I think um, it's one thing that I completely forgot to bring and. Um, I'm always a bit concerned about lugging it everywhere as well, you know, especially when I go wild camping and such, you know, because I've got, you know, got quite a bit of weight already. However, you know, it's not actually that far from the car park. So, you know, it's uh, definitely something that I'll do next time anyway. But um, yeah, it's been a great, great morning. 
uh, definitely worth checking out this location um, I'm sure many of you probably have done already you know it's um, it is one of those real prime locations to come and take photographs and it's not just here all the way around Derwent uh, Water there's there's plenty of places there's um, there's places like the uh, Ashness Jetty um, I think it's called uh, oh, you know I've photographed that before that's quite a popular location it kind of um, that's on the uh, eastern side of Derwent Water and it kind of looks across towards Cap Bells that, in that direction so that's always a really great location to go and see there's also other jetties on the on the western side there um, so they'll be looking back towards kind of Walla Crag direction and yeah there's there is plenty plenty to be seen and plenty to be had um, you know plenty of foreground interest and you know all all the way around Doan Water there is there is plenty of views uh, just like the Lake District you can pretty much point your camera anywhere you know and, and go snap happy really but you know this is definitely a prime spot um, and I was very very lucky to actually have it on my own this morning because normally you do get people coming down you know I mean it's it's a Sunday today so you know it's it's the weekend so you'd have thought you'd have kind of uh, had a few few people down here but uh, uh, not this morning so it was quite nice having it to myself well I say to myself I've got all the sheep <laughs> keeping me company and also plenty of uh, ducks and they're now just having a I think they're having a bit of a sleep now <laughs> so yeah um but really really good morning and uh, really really enjoyed it and it was certainly worth coming out and getting up at half past two four although it's kind of a blessing in disguise uh, disguise because i'm on nights tonight so i've kind of get, got to get myself into a night routine so you know it's uh kind of ticked a couple of boxes this morning um but yeah superb morning and i think that's that's me done here for today so uh, make sure guys if you've uh, liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if uh, you want to leave some feedback or ask me any questions then pop a comment in the comment box below um, thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your continued support and if you're your first time watching this video please subscribe to my channel um, if you've liked it so yeah thanks very much guys and thank you for watching With you